Greetings, guzzlers, and welcome back to another episode of Ben Buys Beverages. And I gotta tell you, I am in a great mood tonight. It's not just the weather, which has been lower 70s all day. It's not just the fact that I got my hair cut and I got a bunch of chores done that needed doing to the point where even I knew they needed to be done. And if you know me, I don't like doing chores. Regardless, I'm in such a great mood because like I mentioned in my last video, I got my video game Mega Mech working. For those unaware, it's a tactical war game, but it's digital because there's lots of little fiddly rules. But it's based on this. That's right, Battletech. A lovely game that started in the 80s. It's still around today where you march around the battlefield with little robots, little murder robots. This is the Thunderbolt and the Catapult and my favorite, the Awesome. True story, the first time I played Battletech, I was at Gen Con in the mid-90s. And I walked into the room, and they had this table laid out. And they were fighting the in-game story at the Battle of Tukied, which was a big battle between the Inner Sphere and the clans. And I was assigned to the Inner Sphere, because it was a walk-in, walk-out game. And I was assigned a Catapult and an Awesome, and I've been in love with those mechs in this game ever since. Regardless, I got it working, and I gotta say, I found something at the store today that I've already cracked open, because this is my second round of trying to do this video. But anyhow, it's called Hellcat Maggie. It is a 80 proof, 40% alcohol Irish whiskey. With a name like that, it sounds like it's right out of the Battletech universe, which is okay, because maybe it's still there, because GE is still there. Yes, General Electric, who brings us light bulbs and miniguns in the game of Battletech, has brought us the Fusion Engine. So be sure to contact GE today and demand your Fusion Engine. Regardless, I already poured a glass. I'm drinking it neat. And later tonight, don't tell Mrs. Ben buys beverages, but I'm going to have a second glass to go along with it. Now, it smells wonderful. Mmm. And it's smooth with only that hint of burn that whiskey brings. That's really not there. It's very good. But tonight I think is going to be a double feature. Since I'm talking about robots marching around, bang, bang, kapow, kapow. I was at, because the whiskey came from the Sarabama, but the beer that I'm about to share with you came from whew, the Cotton Chill Package Store. Where else would I buy beer? Anyhow, it's fitting because of the name, and it's right out of a comic book. It is Bledow! Seriously, that's the name. Bledow! Imperial Breakfast Stout from Batman comic books, perhaps. Regardless, this uh, Imperial Breakfast Stout is uh, flavored with oats, lactose, and dynamite roaster's coffee. Brought to us out of North Haven, Connecticut, uh by a company called 12%, which is fitting because the beer itself is 11.5%. So let's crack this open, shall we? And I got my, my shot glass because we're talking about war and robots and such. All right, it pours very smooth. It looks like coffee. I can't really smell it from here. It won't all fit in the glass. That's okay. That just means more later. It smells good. It smells really good. I can taste the coffee, certainly. There's a sweetness... That is no doubt, you know, from the lactose. Something else makes my, my lips feel numb. Or maybe that's the whiskey, but I can really feel it with this. Hmm. Maybe it's the oats. Regardless, this is really, really tasty, really, really smooth. I should have saved it for breakfast tomorrow, perhaps, but I got to go to mass in the morning. And it'd be kind of weird to pound a beer like this and then go to mass. So... 
regardless, this is a tasty beer. And before I break into song, because Irish whiskey and a stout makes me want to sing, hmm. I got to say that this beer, that's 10 out of 10 bottle caps, even though it comes in a can. Now, ooh, I won't mix the two. I'll just drink a little off of each one. I promised a song just then, just now. So here's one. You'll recognize the tune, and it is set in the Battletech world, a world of robots and violence and warfare, where basically you play the role of mercenaries, trying to maintain your company with technology that doesn't quite work. It's like me trying to get cars to go. They work, but I don't know how. So it's like magic, space magic. Regardless, to get from one planet to another, you come down in drop ships, and that's important for this song. So are you ready? Here we go. I fight my enemies because it's what I'm paid to do. I never hesitate to ask or even think it through. I'd retire any day, but I spend too much on guns and whores. I ain't gonna drop no more. Glory, glory, what a hell of a way to die. Glory, glory, I just hope I can get by. Glory, glory, I just wish they'd pay me more. I guess I'll drop once more. The client didn't tell us what we would be fighting for. And all I know for certain is I will not die from poor. In other words, I'm just another bloody dog of war. I'll gladly drop once more. I've been paid in every coin that's ever known to man. I'll fight for any reason because that's frankly who I am. Plausible deniability is what you pay me for. F you pay me more. Glory, glory, what a... Glory, glory. Wow, don't sing with that in your mouth. I just hope I can get by. Glory, glory, I just wish they'd pay me more. I guess I'll drop once more. I am a problem solver. I just use some different tools. From AC-10s to LRMs and anything that's cool. I'll shoot, your, I'll shoot your enemies and charge you by the war. I need to drop once more. From Solaris to Tokaid, I have seen a thing or two. And across my vast career, I know there's one thing that is true. It ain't required to know just what the hell you're fighting for. I'm just gonna drop once more. All right. I did not write that. I'm not that clever. A guy named Goat wrote that, and I will put the link to the video below. There's more verses. It's a lot of fun, and the whole thing is brought to us courtesy of the Black Pants Legion. And if you enjoy watching video games and battle tech and such, it is for you. Regardless, I'm going to say 10 out of 10 for both Bladow and Hellcat Maggie. Probably only 7 out of 10 for my singing. I screwed up a verse or two. Regardless, cheers!